So welcome to another Wrestler Designs video. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering uh, lower strut braces. I'm gonna be using these two crash bars. If you don't know what these are, these are crash bars from a Golf Mark III, the front door crash bars. Uh, the reason why I'm using these is because they're very good grade steel. They're free. Uh, if you're throwing away a set of doors, you can easily find these and pick these up for next to nothing, really. And they're almost purpose-built really, as long as you've got a grinder, a drill, and a welder, you can make up some lower strut braces with these. So, so the first time I've actually used these bars was on the convertible 3.5 ABF project, uh, which you can see is a playlist to that. Uh, and what I've did is, the reason why I use this is perfect, because it's kind of tapered, it's squashed, and it actually goes across that point, bar A, bar one. Uh, on the diagram, bar one, this is perfect to actually go on there. So you'll see what I'll do. So the first thing I do is, is I, I cut this 13 off and then drill a 12 mil hole because the bolts are 12 mil. So I'll, these are the bolts that I use. I'll put these in the description, the length, the pitch, and what bolt to use if you guys wanna make your own. So we'll make bar one, and then I'll show you what we do with the rest of the bar to make the front uh, lower strut brace. So, first things first, let's cut these bits off, drill some holes and weld it up. Okay, so I've just trimmed off both ends of these bars. Now I'm just gonna drill two 12 mil holes. The holes are drilled. So I've tapered the shim so that it fits flat and square. So next is to weld the shims onto the bars. Okay, so I've run two beads of weld either side of these uh, spacer shims. Now, just need to measure up the distance between the center holes on the rear of the subframe. So here's a completed item, all finished. I've also given it a lick of paint. So it looks a bit, so it doesn't rust under there with all the welding and the cutting. Uh, we're gonna mount this up soon, but before we mount this up, and I'll show you how it, how it looks on the car, we're gonna now move on to the leftovers of the rest of these crash bars. So what I've done here is, this is the bit that I showed you that's got the little kind of drop in it. So what I've done is, is it's got a, a bit like that on the end. And what I've done is I've chopped it off at the thickness of the bar and I've drilled the nut that was out in there. This is the original bolt that goes through the front of the wishbone. And as you can see, it doesn't fit through. So again, I'll put this in the description, the length, the size and the pitch of these bolts. And so then allows you, obviously it's got the Allen key head in it, you can use it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move over to the open air, get the engines out of it, so it's a bit easier still. Just gonna, um, bolt these through on both ends there's both of them and then measure up and see where i need to cut and spot some welds on it
So here's the front one almost completed. As you can see, it's got a nice little dip already. So now we're actually gonna put it on the Bon Jovi, on the AFN, and actually see where I need to actually notch it, how close it comes to uh, the rear diff casing on the gearbox. And let's see, I can't wait to put these on. This is gonna make a big difference. So as you can see the bar, I've trial fitted it on. Let's see if it focuses in. And that's the bit that needs to be notched out where it's actually really close. It's not touching, but you can see it's really close to the, to the drain plug on the diff. So that's the bit I'm gonna kind of cut into half, flip it around. A good fit so you can still have if you have an under tray you can still fit the under tray with this uh, strut brace that i've just made just for a test drive now to evaluate the difference i mean i've done this before so i know what the difference actually is it definitely stiffens up the chassis it helps turn in So this concludes the video. As you saw, I took it for a little test drive and it's really improved the handling. Those two lower strut braces kind of tie the two chassis legs together and in doing so, stops flex when you go into a corner. The steering just feels a lot more positive. The car feels a lot more composed. So while I'm waiting for the Fiber 100 GTI Plus setup to, or to arrive with the wishbones, the hubs, uh, the anti-roll bar and all those other little bits and pieces. Uh, this will keep me going. Uh, the reason why it's taking so long actually is the wheels. Uh, I've had a set of wheels, uh, steel wheels banded and unfortunately the courier lost them, then found them, then delivered them, then they delivered only three of them so I'm missing still one wheel. So the reason why I haven't progressed with this uh, with the 5 by 100 conversion on it it's because I don't have any wheels yet. I'm still waiting on the wheels and tires. I've got three, I'm missing one. So it could be a while before that gets sorted out. So I've still got a few things to do on this Bon Jovi before it's actually finished for this year. So uh, please subscribe, support the channel and loads of more content with Mark 3s and Mark 2s coming.